Hi, so it is the next day and I thought I would just finish off this shopping vlog with showing you what I got. I feel like it will be obvious in a few of the clips, but yeah, a lot of the things weren't shown in the vlog, so I thought I would show you here. So one of the things I picked up, which has completely now unraveled, which is great, <laughs> is this linen table runner from H&M Home which just looks like this. And this was in my basket online, uh, but it is literally like 8 99 So I thought it'd just be easier to pick it up in store. And yeah, our wooden dining table doesn't have anything on it, but I just thought something like this would be quite nice. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited to put that on the table. It okay, then went to Lazara, as you would have seen. And I was very good, I think. <laughs> I bought two pieces um, and I only picked up the pieces that I was absolutely in love with. So first I got this kind of like a stony linen blend shirt and it is a little bit more on the stony side maybe than I usually go but I really did love the fit. There was only a small in stock so I went with that and yeah I have like a white linen shirt from M&S but I really like the thought of having like a stony coloured one so I got that and then oh my god I'm obsessed with this top. It is this like silky satin shirt, um, which has this tie to go around your waist. I've wanted a shirt like this for the longest time. I'm so happy that I managed to get one. I'm not gonna lie, I imagine myself having more of like a cotton shirt version of this, but I do love that it's like this silky material. So yeah, love both of those. Got some pieces from H&M. To be fair, for both H&M and Zara, I was hoping to find more pieces in store that I'd seen online. Um, but honestly, I feel like when you go in store, for H&M and Zara, it's like a different shop to online completely. Um, I didn't find like any of the pieces I saw online, but at the same time I found pieces that I didn't see online. Um, so first, this little ribbed cami top. The amount of tops I have like this for the summer, for the spring, summer, I have like a million different types of ribbed crop tops, but this with a pair of jeans is just so easy. And then, oh my god, this has picked up so much black fluff. As you would have seen, I paired this little white crop top, which I thought was really cute, with these white cargo pants, which actually are now out of stock online, I believe. Um, I did kind of want some in like a beigey colour as well, but these are the only ones I could find. And they're like these low rise cargoes. I don't know if it's just me. Well, no one knows, it's not just me. But I really just want cargoes in my wardrobe. I really want some like khaki or, mm, I don't know about khaki, maybe just some beige ones as well. But I thought these were also really cute. These white ones, very S Club vibes, as I've been telling everyone. Although I have noticed these have picked up so much black fluff. Like I'm definitely gonna have to lint these before I wear them. And then last but not least, we did some Primark. I'm gonna talk about the pieces that I got, uh, not from the home section, as I don't really buy a lot of stuff not from the home section. I picked up these three quarter uh, workout socks. How beautiful are these? I'm sorry. Um, you get these like taupey color, a white color, and these cream, like really quite thick ribbed socks. I love them, I just thought they were so cute. And um, these were £3.50. And then, these were showing a lot nicer on the hanger, but I saw this little underwear set, which is like, I don't know if you can see that. It's like white ribbed. These are the pants and they are so soft. I feel like really lovely quality. These were £7 and yeah, I just thought a really nice like loungy set for like a day off. Yeah, I really love those. And then for some home pieces, I'm actually really sad about one of them. Um, this was four pounds. They had loads of like these, um, just kind of pieces of art, I guess. Um, but I didn't notice. In fact, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see on camera. It's got like a yellow stain here, uh, which I didn't notice. So I'm gonna have to either paint over it or return it. So I don't know if I can be bothered to return it. And I really do like it, so I might just paint over it. But yeah, I really loved the design on that. And then got some photo frames. This cream, like this rustic um, paper mache cream one, was £1.50. I can't believe it, I should have picked up more. Um, but yeah, I've really been like not liking my gold photo frames at the moment. 
I have a lot of gold ones from my Urban, H&M, and I just kind of want to replace them. So I picked that one up. And then this one, which was £3.50, um, which I thought was quite cute, like the wooden arch. I then got some cute little handle doorknobs, um, which I think will be a good size. And they're like this cream ropey, I don't know if you can see. I thought they were really cute. Those were three pounds, so I don't think that's bad at all. And I was kind of tempted to get some for all of my dresser. Um, but at the same time, I would need a lot. I'd need like 12, so I don't know. I kind of wish I'd got some for my bedside. I got these kind of for my vanity, but yeah, I thought they were really cute. This beautiful, like flower shaped pillar candle in this like grayish color was two pounds. And I've been looking at ones like this on Etsy, which are a lot more money. So pick that up. Then got some kitchen tools. <laughs> um, got this wooden sieve. I just love the handles on all of these. Uh, this was three pounds. Then got a peeler. <laughs> this was two pounds and this one was two pounds as well, which is like a little greater, which I thought was pretty cute. So yeah, I just love the color of this wood. And I feel like we can now throw out some of our plastic ones, so. And then last but not least, got this candlestick holder, which was four pounds. And I just thought this was adorable. And I just loved how it kind of looks like a sculpture at the same time. Like you don't necessarily have to put a candle in it. Cause I have a couple of candle holders, which when they don't have a candle in, they kind of look like nothing. Like they don't even look good by themselves, if you know what I mean. So I feel like this will be a nice replacement because even without a candle, it looks cute. So yeah, that is the end of this little shopping vlog. Please let me know if you enjoyed it and if you'd like me to do more of these. And if you did, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.